I had so many people liking and commenting on my video about what is IO psychology that I thought I'd bring together some of my IO psychology friends and talk about a great potential career option for those who are interested in or have a degree in IO psychology. And that is a career in people analytics. I'm so excited to be joined by a couple of my IO friends as we talk about why people analytics is such a great potential career for people in this area. So I wanna start by having everyone introduce themselves. Misael, let's go ahead and start with you. Hi, my name is Misael Serpas. I got my IO degree from San Jose State. Um, currently I'm with GE Digital. I'm the people analytics lead and I hope to be a data scientist in the people analytics field in the future. Subhadra. Hi, uh, I'm Subhadra Datta. Um, I got my PhD in IO psychology from Central Michigan University. Um, currently, I am the director of people science and analytics at Stitchfix. Okay. And Chris, how about you? Hi, I'm Chris Lovato. I've got my uh, doctorate in industrial organizational psychology from Colorado State University. And I'm currently at Medtronic as the human capital insights director. And for those who don't know me, my name is Heather Whiteman. While my PhD was in human capital management, my IO degree and first love was in a master's from California State University, Sacramento. And I'm currently a teacher, lecturer, and instructor in people analytics and talent management at various places like UC Berkeley. And this video was really meant to talk about some of the great alignment between how someone with IO skills or interests end up in people analytics today. So for the three of you, I'd love to hear, how did you get from your IO degree to a career in people analytics today? What did that journey look like for you? Sure, I can go, I can like, uh, <laughs> um, you know, I, I say this like uh, uh, very frequently in every conference. Also, um, like the, the the world of people analytics isn't isn't new. Um, so, as IO psychologists, that the idea of using data for people side of things is is has been around like forever. Um, so, you know, like started when in started with being more in the measurement and assessment aspects over different across jobs. Um, and it's, it's funny, IO psychologists in the West Coast, in the East Coast, you become like talent management and talent development and do these things. But in West Coast, thanks to Google in the last like 10 years, um, uh, people analytics has become the form that IO psychologists are getting hired in. Um, so as with like my career, I moved from East Coast to West Coast, <laughs> geographically, like I started moving from talent, like more traditional talent management, talent development to being in people analytics. Throw in a little regional East Coast, West Coast, yeah. West Coast. Yeah. <laughs> Chris and Michelle, what about you? Um, for me, I, I really uh, had a series of jobs that were in, uh, in, in large companies in an organization effectiveness role. And they, they, they really worked with a lot of of our, some of our standard I.O. processes and, and data, such as 360s, surveys, assessments, uh, sometimes even um, performance uh, evaluations. Um, and then I had a stint where I went was an external consultant and started adding more AI for HR applications and, and helping clients with that as well. Uh, so, so in my current role, you know, when when they asked, you know, do, do you have people analytics experience, it was uh, not formally in that job, but absolutely every component of the job I've done before. So it's it's exciting to put it all together in, into one role. Yeah. Now you're at a really cool transition point. Um, Misael, what about you? Yeah. yeah so for me. Um, my undergrad was in counseling. I thought I was going to be a counselor. And then I realized that in order to do that, I also needed a master's degree, right? So I started looking at other masters and I saw that IO was more geared towards my strengths. So when I got into IO, I really didn't know what it was. I've heard about a similar concept, but I really didn't know what it was. I only applied to one school, which is San Jose State. And um, luckily I got in. And there I learned about data and, you know, 
I was all over the place. I was excited about everything. We learned about leadership, compensation. I was excited about everything, but I knew that my excitement for that field had to do with data. So as part of my master's, I had to get an internship and luckily I found one that was, you know, so who hired highly you data into that internship, <laughs> uh, who hired a you into person that? By a person by the name of Heather Whiteman, Dr. <laughs> Heather Whiteman. <laughs> and um, so there I was lucky because I would have taken any internship, <laughs> to be honest with you, any role. Cause I didn't want to graduate. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I definitely think I got lucky because I, you know, at that time I already knew that data, I was passionate about data. And luckily I found the right role for me. And I think that in my interview, you maybe saw that. And you were like, oh, okay, he likes data. <laughs> I like data, so he's a good fit. <laughs> That's awesome. No, there's a lot of parallels. I know when I started out, I also had no idea what IO psychology was. Um, I was just trying to figure out what I could do next and um, ended up thinking it was a really cool way to make a difference. You know, quite honestly, I was like, oh, they probably pay you if you work for a company uh, <laughs> and uh, stumbled across it and, and you know, I think my first love of people analytics was when I discovered the ability to use data to uh, make a difference in affirmative action and removing bias. And that was my first real um, people analytics exposure and professional work and then led to a great career to where I'd worked in it for a long time and I'm happy now to help other people see the power of this as a potential career, which is why I love these videos and meeting with great experts like you. Uh, and you know, this video is intended to help those who have some IO skills or even if not an IO degree, just an interest in the area, maybe consider people analytics as a really amazing career choice. Uh, and so the three of you, why do you think that someone who's interested in or taking courses in IO might want to consider a career in people analytics? Yeah, sure. Um, I think, I think like, um, the I, I say this like very frequently, IO psychology equips us with a very neat intersection of statistics, principles of org psychology, and psychometrics. And if you think about it, like these three things literally make you like a super power person in a people analytics team. Um, when analyzing things across the employee life cycle, which is the goal of people analytics, and that's where I feel you know, even when I'm in people analytics, I think of everything from an IO psychology lens. Like, I don't think I've ever imbibed this, like, oh, I'm in people analytics. Sure, it's nice and it's on brand. But everything comes from an IO psychology lens, and that makes everything like so much more super powery. So, for example, um, let's say in the recruiting side of it, right? Like, so there is a, a data science way of looking at it. Okay, you know, are, uh, are we recruiting time to fill? And, like, you know, how, how are we doing? And what are some of the predictors? But from an IO psychology lens, you're also like understanding are your selection interview uh, questions, are they valid? Are they reliable? Do you have predictive validity? Do you have content validity? And that kind of like, that kind of knowledge is what like other members in the people analytics team will not have, but that's the power of people analytics making it more solid. So that's where I feel like, you know, um, why why should someone like, should highly consider because even when in that people analytics team, you are truly a superpower because not only can you analyze, but you can interpret it in the org psychology principles. You can use psychometrics to build that content for competencies and assessments. And so you can do like a whole, like a end to end cycle of it. Um, and, and that's what like makes it a really, really powerful place to be in. Yeah, I, I think those are, those are great points that I would totally agree with as well. I think the, um, for me, I love a variety when it comes to my work. And I've, I, as I said in the past, I've done jobs where I was perhaps the program manager for 360 or I would specialize in surveys or assessment. But what I love about people analytics is that you don't have to specialize in any one of those. And in fact, you're intimately involved with all of those. You're using the data from those to, to extract you know, new insights, make decisions uh, across the organization and still have a huge impact on the lives of, of every employee and, and the leaders in, in those organizations. So 
Um, I, I think that's what makes us uh, IO psychologists uniquely qualified for, police, uh, for people analytics, is that we, we do know all of the science behind those instruments that provide the data. We know the research methods um, that are critical uh, in, in, in this role for quasi-experiments and, and, and controlled studies as much as possible in a practical application. And, and we understand human behavior, and that's really what people analytics is, is all about, is that, that human behavior at work and understanding and, and listening to employees through a variety of, of different methods. Yeah. Awesome. Misael, how about you? Yeah, so I definitely want to echo everyone said, um, what everyone said. Um, it's, I think at one point in my career, I realized that IO is the perfect degree for anyone who wants to do people analytics because um, I think it was mentioned before, you get, you know, the technical knowledge of knowing how to, you know, collect data and also analyze that data with statistics, but you also get the industry uh, part of it. You understand, you know, the concepts and the factors that are at play in the organization. So I mentioned earlier in the call that I want to be a data scientist and any good data scientist has the technical skills um, to run statistics, co collect data, and work with big data sets, but they also have the industry um, knowledge or, or the domain knowledge. And I think that an IO degree, you learn the domain, you learn the, you know, the technical, and you learn how to collect data. So I definitely agree that it's the perfect degree for, for people analysts. Yeah. No, I think that's awesome. Um, I think one other reason why this is a great degree is look at the really cool people you get to hang out with in the field of people analytics. I mean, we're kind of awesome. <laughs> uh, and it's just a great community. It's a way to bring science and thinking and um, analysis to the world of people at work and make a difference in lives and communities and organizations. And so if you've been thinking about a potential career in the area of people analytics, hopefully this, uh, group here of IO psychologists can help give you an idea of where your skills might be valued and used. And, uh, you know, Misael, Chris, Subadra, thank you so much for joining. I hope that inspired those of you who were looking for potential career paths to think about people analytics as a great way to use your IO interests or skills. And if you are interested in learning more about people analytics, I have some great resources I can point you towards, as well as course that I'm working on with some of the individuals that you saw in the video. So if you wanna know more about that, go ahead and send me an email, or I'll also have a link to be able to contact me to get put on an information list below. I hope that some of you will consider joining this really great people analytics community.